So let's see if we can find the bane of what am I searching for? The bane of um, PS4s everywhere, known as realistic grass. Looks nice. Looks fairly realistic. Has a bit of wiggle to it. Let's scope in. Oh, it's got it's got like twelve groups or something. Twelve groups. Uh, but I guess that's not not so bad. Uh, that's um. But people don't people don't um. Let's try something. So you do that. People don't tend to use like one of these. They use it to cover everything on the whole planet and it's all on screen at once and the frame rate doesn't like it I just do it with sculpts there's a sculpt uh, we'll just tint it for sake of quickness that's that's a bit too bright let's go from there um then just style it with streaky that's the same fleck that they were using in that by the way um down res it so now you can see the the actual individual flex a bit more um, impasto makes it stand on end for the streaky fleck now you've got grass um, and they I think they had some like metal on it maybe like that so there's a bit of like sheen to it so it's it's just insanely easy to make grass I'll just make some crudely drawn grass. Boom. I'm an artist. Um, so let's make that small. Uh, let's make some ground. Whoa. Uh, and that's probably way too. Right, put that on there. That'll do. Um, and we'll move them around and stuff. So let's just delete this force multiplier for the net and that. So I can recreate it. So, uh, signal manipulator again. Um, no, I won't use that for the minute. I'll show you something else. Um, right, so so we'll just hook it straight into the force multiplier. So let's get that velocity into the force multiplier, and make sure it's at the feet there. I like to make it a bit smaller because the idea is these are getting brushed by the feet. So make it quite small in the feet, and then just give it a little fade off like that. Um, yeah, and play, and it won't work. It won't do anything. And even if you... I'll just make these the same... Combine them the same painting for now. So we can just have one set of... Um, stuff to worry about. Let's freeze that. Um, so we'll turn it onto physical. And you can have whatever settings you want there. Um, yeah, that seems alright. So let's try that. So even with physical on, nothing happens because there's no collision. Paintings can't have collision. What they can do is be affected by force mul force appliers. So we don't want any. This is for sculpts, basically the force speed. Force speed on strokes. That's what we want for these actual strokes. So let's just make it big like that. 
So while you're moving, it's applying force. And then when you stop, they kind of go back to what they were. Now on my film actual game, I wanted to limit what this affects. So uh, you can use labels for that. So I had, if it's a friend scenery, um, normally this will be if it's a friend or scenery, then it will apply because it's on any selected. So if any one of these that are on um, are applied to these, then it will work. So if I just put friend on, actually if I just, if I don't put friend on, then it won't affect it. If I put friend on, because it's one of the lit ones, it does affect it. Uh, but I wanted a little more control. I didn't want all friend. Um, I mean, I don't use any of these anyway, but just, just for my own peace of mind, I used all selected. So now, just friend won't work because it requires friend and scenery. Let's test that out. So now it's not working anymore. So then, now it's friend and scenery. And now it is working. Um, so that's a nice way of, like, you you basically don't just have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven labels, or eight labels, I guess. Um, but you have eight to the power of eight, I guess, because you can have this one on and any one of these on, and lots of different combinations. Um, so that's worth noting about the labels. Uh, but we kind of want to um, it looked a bit like it would actually let's just leave it on so now that's higher let's see what, how that looks so that's a bit better it kind of looks a bit more like it's moving around us but it, it just kind of stops back immediately um, as if it was like made of uh, a spring or something um, so it's just a bit extreme. So what I like to do is use a signal ma manipulator and use output smoothing. So this um, this makes it so it takes a certain amount of time to go up to a value and a certain certain amount of time to go down to a value. So if I made that really big and that kind of small, let's see what that looks like. So let's watch the grass. Oh, did that do anything? I don't think I ever plugged in. Velocity. Yeah. Let's just see what values that gives actually. There's a custom remapper so we can see the graph. Okay, cool. So it's kind of between 0 and 1. That's fine then. So, uh, yeah, output smoothing. Uh, so that's plugged in now. Cool. Hmm, let's see. Go to here and it's still got the output smoothing. Let's see. Uh, double check what's going on there. Okay, so it's slowly going down. Oh, that's right. I think because all that does is turn it on or off. Oh. So we actually want it in the speed. So it multiplies the speed. I don't. I think that's a bug. It should go to um, modulate mode because there was a value there. But we'll just set it manually using L1 and X on that tab. This means the value coming out of here will multiply that value and set it. Um, let's see how that looks. Yeah, so. So it takes a much longer time for it to kind of snap back for the, um, remember the, it isn't this snapping back, it's actually the amount of force being applied to this. 
but it looks like it's the grass snapping back. So then I just fiddled with these numbers and made it so it looked nice. Uh, and that's how I did that. The important thing to note is if you have strokes that are going the wrong way like that, so if you made a grass like that for some reason, let's see what happens with that. Oh, the top the top stuff doesn't work. Um, but interestingly, I could just get one here, so it's really obvious. Ah, I know why it's not working. Get smaller. Oh yeah, yeah. It will be hard to demonstrate because of reasons. Um, I'll just go. Where was it? I'll just make this huge. Okay. So you can see it's kind of being pushed from the bottom instead of the top. And the reason is strokes that start uh it matters what where the start and end is so the so if i just move this around you can see what's going on the start of the stroke stays still and the end of the stroke wobbles out so you've got to make sure that's the right way around so that so that the grass will move as you expect um i actually had to remix that was one of the first things i did for that um uh, ancient kit, uh, ancient times deluxe thing. If I bring it in, ancient times deluxe. This tuft of grass. I wanted to use that, but if we, oh, how can we do that? Yeah. If you bring the original in, you can see that some of the strokes don't behave properly, like some over here, look, um, because they were made from top to bottom instead of bottom to top. Um, probably because that's easier, easier motion to make these strokes really quick. Um, so I, uh, all I did for this remix, which does behave as you expect is to delete the ones that are going the wrong way and then clone some of these out to fit to fill in the gaps 